Um, I think we're on it. I think we're on it. Let's have a look. Yes. Yes. We're finally on the train. How's it going, everybody? My name is Finpire. We're back with Hello Neighbor. We're gonna play some more of it today. I've got a few things, few things up my sleeve. I've tried a few things. We've actually got a mod installed. Right off the bat, though, I just want to thank you guys so much for all who've subscribed. You know, I've kept up with this series. Everyone has been so engaging, you know what I mean, on this series, commenting, hitting the like button. It's been awesome. It really has. It's been fantastic. Just to engage with you guys as well, you know, just to get that feedback. It's really, really cool. Anyway, you may have seen a friend of mine, 8-Bit Ninja, did a video where he found a golden apple. Now, we'll have a look at that first, right? We're going to have a look at that first. But after that, I'm going to show you guys what's in the third, fourth and probably the fifth floor, and possibly what's up in that little room up there that I'm looking up there as well. See that one? Yeah, yeah, we can take a look at what's up inside that room. I've got a mod where I can actually, I can walk around in the, the third story and basically do whatever we want. And we can even ride the train. <laughs> That's right. We can ride, not inside the train, but we can ride on top of the train. So we're going to do that as well. It's going to be cool. It's going to be awesome. Anyway, let's have a look at just this golden apple thing, right? Now what it is, it's basically you find a, you, you pick up a door object and picking up the door object triggers basically like a, a placeholder icon down in your little, your little inventory here because they don't have a proper, proper icon for it. So they got like a little placeholder icon. Now the placeholder icon is an apple. It's not the white one like when you normally pick up an apple. It's like a full on, it to me, to me it looks like a picture of just like the regular apples. Because if you look at the apples in this game, right, the regular apples, they're a greeny yellow, which which is a type of apple, all right? That's that's a, a legitimate apple. It's not a Granny Smith, but it's like a full on, you know, look at it. It's like a, it's a greeny sort of yellowy apple, right? That's, it's kind of like a pear sort of color. If we go back in here, we stand like under the light. Look at it, look at it. Look how much that is glowing. It is glowing so much right now. <laughs> you could say it's even quite shiny. Look at that. Look how glowing that thing is. All right. Now imagine if I took a photo of that or just like a screenshot and I stuck it down into like the little inventory down here. I could possibly, could possibly look like a golden apple. Anyway, let's just get this thing happening. I'm going to try it. I'm going to do the steps that 8-Bit Ninja did. So credit goes to that guy. You know, if you haven't watched his videos, then... You know, you really haven't been watching many Hello Neighbor videos because he's done like half of them. <laughs> he's done like half of the YouTube videos of Hello Neighbor. Go and check him out if you haven't already. He's a really cool YouTuber. Now, where is, uh, I think we need to actually get this guy like following us. Let's just break his window and be an asshole about it. That one's already broken. I'm going to break that one as well just to get his attention. Come on. Come on. See, here he comes. Here he comes. And he's doing like the screechy music. I hate the screechy music. It's the worst of all the Ace Strong Tomatoes. He means business, this guy. Okay, so we go up here, right? Here's what we have to do. We go up the stairs. Oh, there's a shark. It's all frozen. I'm sorry, shark. I'm sorry it had to be like this. And what you do is you wait for the neighbor to come up here and you close the door in his face. Like this, right? Bam! Right in his face. And he doesn't come through. I, I have no idea why, but he doesn't. I think he goes around, alright? Now what we need to do is wait for him to go around and he's gonna bust that door down. And when he busts it down, we then kind of like run back the other way and then he should jump out the window because that's his go-to plan is when I'm standing right here, he jumps out the window like a friggin' idiot. I don't know why, that's just what happens. So let's wait and wait and wait a little bit more. Ow! No! No! He decided to go through the other way. That's different. Okay then, we're gonna have to try it again. We're gonna have to try it again. It failed that time. All right, so we'll just do this thing again. Come on, come on, champ, and stop it. Okay, so hopefully he just goes around the other way this time. Okay, here we go. So he's gonna bust the door down, right? Bang. He didn't even break it. Okay, now, I don't know. He didn't break it. I don't know why, but hang on. Oh, wait, wait, no, I can get it. Now, if you look, get out the door, get out the window. If you look down the bottom there, just let me change uh, like the little inventory thing. See that? You tell me. You tell me. Is that... Is that a golden apple? It looks very green to me. Like, it looks really, really green. Just like the, the regular apples. So I'm gonna find one of the regular apples and we're gonna compare it. Come on, champ. He, he's gonna glitch out. He's gonna do the glitch. Here he comes. 
Here he comes. All right, we'll let him jump through there. He's through. All right, and we'll shut the door on him. Leave him there where he belongs. Okay, now let's go and get an apple. And we're going to compare it to what it looks like at the apple down the bottom corner. Here we go. Where's the apples? Where's the apples? Here they are. Okay, so we have an apple. Now, obviously, they look different. <laughs> okay, the icons. The icons look different. But look at the apple in my hand compared to the apple down the bottom there. They're both green. They're both like the same color. There's nothing gold about them at all. Now that's not to say that 8-Bit Ninja didn't do a good job. Because <laughs> he did. He did an awesome job. And he found something very interesting about the game. But there's nothing gold about that apple. It's just a regular apple. It's just, it's so just a regular apple. <laughs> anyway, I'm hoping that the update, which should be coming out like tonight, or maybe tomorrow. I'm not too sure, because like, I can't work out international time. Hopefully, the developers have just been a little bit cheeky and they've actually added a golden apple in. That would be the best. That would be awesome, because I would definitely go looking for that. Anyway, let's continue on with what we were doing. Get rid of the door. Why are we carrying a door? We don't want that. Let's get up into the third floor. Let's check it out. Oh, even, even better. Even better. I've got another theory for you guys. You guys can go nuts with this theory, all right? Look what I found. Look what I found. It's a severed hand. <laughs> That's right. I found a severed hand. I don't know if you can see. There it is. It's right there. It's right there. Let's just chuck this stuff away. Look at it. It's a severed hand. That's right. Just theorize. Go to town. Make up what you will. But that's a severed hand. Because look, there's a dummy there. And there's a severed hand. But there's no other dummies around. That's the only dummy. Yeah, make up myths. Just make up whatever you want. Just bullshit your way into victory. It's getting more and more difficult to get outside this guy's house. All right, let's get a bin. Um, we're gonna need this bin because what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly up. All right, we're doing the trash can flying thing. Now I realize I could just be doing the you know the anti gravity glitch or anti gravity mod, but I don't want to do that. I like having my feet firmly on the ground and just walking around like a bloody human being. That's what I like doing. So we're, we're flying up. We're flying up. And we're gonna fall down in a minute right now. Let's do it. Let's go down and Look look what we're landed on Nothing, but if we go through the wall Look where we are here we go So this is the third floor right here and there's the train There's a train which we're gonna attempt to climb on in a minute and ride it around everywhere And it's gonna be epic, but for now Let's just see if we can actually where's where's that top room? I think there's that, like a room right up there somewhere. I think if we pop the trash can maybe about here, we should be able to fly up and get ourselves inside that little room. The one that's kind of like the very top, which is effectively, I guess like, so this is the fourth floor right here, right? This is the fourth floor. You can see like the, the train's about to come flying through in a minute. This is really hard to do because I keep spinning around in circles. So there goes the train. All right, let's go up even further. Let's do it. We're going up. Okay, this is the fifth floor. That's right. There's a fifth floor. I guess it's like an attic or something. But there's also another room. Just like right up here. If I can get up. Just gotta get up a little bit further. Come on. Come on, champ. There we go. There we go. Now we're in it and we're, we are freaking out big time. We are freaking out big time. But this is like that little boxy room. The one that's at the top. And there's like, there's nothing in it. Except there's like a funny little square in the window. See that? Yeah, there's like a little a weird little square. If I could stop spinning. Jesus. Okay, I can't stop spinning, but there's like a funny little square. I don't know what that's about. It's it's a bit weird. I don't know. One thing I noticed though is that the the train actually pushes the trash can around. Pop the trash can on the ground. Watch when the train comes around. He's gonna bust it over. Okay, so what's up here? Oh, so this is one of the balconies. Okay, so you go through them like you can't land on them, which kind of sucks. What if I can walk on this train track? Hey, I can. That's pretty cool. All right, I can kind of walk on the train track. I kind of probably want to get out of the way before the train comes though, and I get knocked off. So the third floor is the only one that actually has like a, you know, something you can walk on. The rest of them, you just basically fall through, which kind of sucks. It'd be nice to sort of walk around the fourth floor as well. Not that there's really anything there from what I've seen. So now what we're gonna try and do is ride around on the train. Now I'll show you guys how to do this. It's a, it's a little bit tricky, a little bit tricky, but we'll sort it out. Okay, so we'll wait for the train to come around. Now we need to run over, pop the trash can where the train was, sort of like right here, and then glitch up like this, just a little bit, and wait for the train to come around. 
we're about to be bowled over. Where's the train? Where's the train? Just gotta wait for him to come around. Gotta wait. No, he's right- he's- he's pushing us off. We just got hit by a train. Okay, I think I went a little bit too high with the trash can, but we'll try it again. We'll try it again. All right, back on the third floor. We're gonna try and get on this train again. Just gotta wait for the train to get out of the way. Then we'll jump on here. And then, no, we're way too high right now. Way too high. <laughs> gonna have to wait for the train to come back out so that I make sure I don't get pushed out of it again. Where's that train? There it is. Okay, well, let's fall back down. I, I really don't want to bother with uh, falling off the house again, so I have to get back in. Wow, okay. So that's probably a little bit too high, I'm guessing. Probably way too high. Where's my trash can? I'm gonna need that to get back in. <laughs> Damn it! That's a pain in the ass. Oh, where's my trash can? There it is. Faithful trash can. Maybe if I do it from like there. Maybe that'd work. Like somewhere where I can actually see the train. Oh jeez. Like, maybe like right there. Maybe I can drop the trash can. Yeah, that works. Okay, so if we do this, and then wait for it to come around, and then we just, like, drop and land on it. No. No, we just went straight through it. Let's try this again. Um, I think we're on it. I think we're on it. Let's have a look. Yes! Yes! We're finally on the train! Awesome! I'm on a train! <laughs> okay, so, the good thing about the train is it kind of gives you... Well, we're, we're zipping through sort of quite quickly. But you're able to see, like, all the floors. Like, it takes you up... See, that's, that's the fifth floor right there. Now you can see through the fourth floor, and then it takes you right around to see the fifth floor again. Man, riding the train is so cool. This is the best. I mean, I ride the train every day to work, but it's not like this. Such a shame that you can't just jump up there and, you know, walk around the rest of the floors. That sort of sucks. But how cool is this? We're riding around on the train. The train is an actual solid object. That is really cool. <laughs> it's so dumb at the same time. It's so, so dumb. Anyway, like I mentioned, Alpha 2 should be coming out, like, I'm pretty sure within sort of 12 hours, so... Hopefully I'll be doing a video on that, like, almost straight away. All depends, because I have to go to work and things, so... I do actually have a regular job as well. Um, but I'm gonna try and do a video on that as soon as I can. <laughs> this is so dumb. I'm kinda half worried about how... How much everyone's gonna pull that game apart as well. Um, but it's gonna be interesting nonetheless. It's gonna be really cool. But thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give us one of these ones, and I'll see you guys next time.